joining me happy we're here together again another story thank you for being here and welcome one more time to story time thank you so much for being here glad you're here with me wherever you're joining us from today whether joining us live right now or indeed joining us later for the recordings welcome to story time i hope that you are having a lovely start to your week and indeed i hope that your day goes well thank you so much for joining in story time Welcome, welcome. We do have a wonderful book to read together. And today we do have Time for Bed. Miyuki, yes indeed. Thank you so much for joining in for this one by Roxanne Marie Galise and illustrations by Sang Soon Ratanavana. Good morning to you and welcome to Storytime. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. And this one is published by Princeton Architectural Press and distributed here in the U.S. by chronicle books of san francisco a big thank you to them thank you so much for joining in story time glad you're here for this wonderful book together time for bed miyuki get ready get comfortable and we'll be getting started with that one very very shortly welcome 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 let me know where you're joining in from and who is joining in with you if anybody indeed thank you for being here wonderful story that we have and i must mention too a big congratulations to sean harris yes for have you seen have you ever seen a flower we just won the caldecat honor award a big award indeed congratulations to you sean thank you thank you thank you for that wonderful book all right we'll be getting started very shortly but let us see who is with us on story time today ready to enjoy a wonderful story oh good morning to you chrissy and bolden how are you doing today thank you so much for joining in yes oh bolden maybe this will help us get those naps back in line thank you so much for joining in i'm excited for this one too glad you're here with us and i hope that it is indeed helpful thank you so much for joining in story time or indeed just enjoyable thank you so much for joining in story time welcome welcome good morning to you and hopefully feeling even stronger today bolden thank you for being here good morning to you amanda how are you doing and of course sarah and nathan out in illinois how are you doing today uh we're testing how fast water filled balloons with different temperature oh wow okay okay please do let us know how that goes i'm excited to find out too oh fahrenheit oh my goodness that is indeed cold <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for joining in story time. How are you doing? I love that. Sounds like a fun experiment out there. Please do let us know what you find out. Thank you so much for joining in. Sarah and Nathan having all the fun out in Illinois. And of course, Amanda West. Thank you so much for joining in today. Good morning to you, Marietta. How are you doing? Yes, indeed. Out in Chile, Massachusetts. Thank you so much for joining in today. And you'll say you're working and you're 
studio. Well, thank you so much for joining in, for spending time with us, for bringing us into your studio today. Thank you for being here. Good morning to you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Oh, so glad you're here. Thank you. Good morning to you, Henry, as well. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully later you can catch us as well for the recording. Thank you so much. Good morning to you, Pamela Courtney. How are you doing? Yes, indeed. Good to see you. And of course, the wonderful homeschooling kin for Braylon and Chad from Nakitosh, Louisiana. Thank you so much for joining in. I watched the recording of the award ceremony. I I I knew they were going on, but I forgot to um to, to log on, so I got to watch a recorded uh, session later on. So thank you for sharing that. It was exciting. And of course, too, to see so many familiar names was was an added layer to it thank you Pam, courtney and of course braylon and chad thank you for joining us out in nakitosh louisiana absolutely appreciate you thank you thank you so much <laughs> yes indeed marietta how are you doing today well we're going to get started with our story for today as you know we're reading time for bed miyuki and this one by roxanne marie galit and illustrations by Sansun Ratanavan. Good morning to you and welcome. And of course, we're reading this one with permission of Princeton Architectural Press, which is distributed here in the US by Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Thank you so much for joining in. Get comfortable, get ready. We're about to get started with our story for today. But before then, let us go to a short message. <laughs> Thank you, Kamaria. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. We're getting ready for this one. And yes, indeed. Oh, there you go. Greetings flying um, flying in there. Marietta, yes, indeed. Saying hi to Pam, Braylon, and Chad. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. All right. Here we go with our story for today. Time for bed, Miyuki. Yes, indeed. This one will make a good nighttime story one of these days, right? I hope that you get to follow along. I know, Baby Bia, you have this one. So I hope that you're following along in your own book as well as we go through. All right, here we go. Time for bed. <laughs> oh. I always love these end, end pages. I just feel like they're so pretty in so many of the books. All right. This one is written by Roxanne Marie Galit and illustrations by Sang Soon Ratanavan. And of course, uh, this one is read with permission of Princeton Architectural Press, distributed here in the US by Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Time for bed, Miyuki. <laughs> With a rain of gold on silver hills, the sun offers its last light before leaving for the night. The nightingale prepares her nest, ants gather their provisions, and the toad jumps into a bucket as the sun slowly hides to watch the moon rise. The bell tower sounds the hour But where is Miyuki? Mm, good question. Where is Miyuki indeed? <laughs> oh. oh, it's a hive of activity for nighttime here. Miyuki is busy playing and trying to push back time. <laughs> We all have those days, don't we? Grandfather is trying to get her to go to bed. Miyuki, it's time for bed, he says. Not yet, Grandfather. Look at the sun. Look, the sun hasn't set yet. And I still have so much to do. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. What do you have to do that cannot wait until tomorrow, Miyuki? Oh, Miyuki, go to bed. Why, I must prepare for the arrival of the dragonfly queen, Miyuki said. 
she chose our garden to visit tomorrow and she will bring her entire court. Her entire court? Grandfather asked. Yes, it's a very big deal. Can you please help me make a canopy to honor her? There, under the cherry tree, Miyuki asked politely. All right, my, all right, my Miyuki. And then it's time for bed. <laughs> oh, Grandpa. <laughs> so Grandfather helped Miyuki make a canopy fit for a queen with fallen leaves, three twigs, and a poppy. Oh, that does sound comfy for the queen, doesn't it? <laughs> Miyuki, it's time for bed. But grandfather, I must water my vegetables. All right, Miyuki, grandfather sighed. Water your vegetables and then it's time for bed. <laughs> Miyuki watered her carrots, turnips, radishes, and everything else she could reach. How many times did Miyuki go from the well to the garden? Well, even grandfather stopped counting. <laughs> oh, busy bee Miyuki. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete and your vegetable garden is watered. It's time for bed. Grandfather, I cannot sleep now, Miyuki cried. I must gather the whole snail family together. If they are not gathered together, I will not be able to sleep. So grandfather helped Miyuki look for the snails and lead them all home. <laughs> oh. That was so kind of you, Miyuki, to help the snails. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. It's time for bed. <laughs> but grandfather, I can't stop now. It's a cold night and I won't be able to fall asleep if I haven't covered up the cat. Oh, well, patiently, grandfather waited as Miyuki covered their cat with a warm blanket. Oh. <laughs> oh, the cat looks so comfortable. Indy, are you comfortable today? <laughs> All the story time cats out there. Good morning. Oh. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered. It's time for bed. Oh, grandfather, we must dance the last dance of the day to thank the sun for shining so nicely. Oh, yes, we must offer thanks at night, shouldn't we? <laughs> so grandfather and Miyuki danced, and then Miyuki yawned. Oh, maybe it might be time for bed for real this time. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Miyuki. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered. And we dance the last dance of the day. It's time for bed. Grandfather said, wearily. <laughs> It has been a lot of activity. Grandfather is tired. Miyuki's eyes were growing heavy, but there was still work to be done. Oh, my. Grandfather, I cannot go to bed until I've bathed and brushed my hair. And what will the stars say if I am not in my best pajamas when they visit me? <laughs> So, Grandfather prepared Miyuki's bath, brushed her hair, and laid out her best pajamas for her to wear. 
<laughs> then Miyuki yawned again. Oh. And grandfather yawned too. Oh. Mm, it is time for bed indeed. I might just be going back to bed over here. <laughs> oh. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered. We danced the last dance of the day. You're bathed and brushed and dressed. It is time for bed. This time, Miyuki didn't argue. She took grandfather's hand and followed him. Grandfather tucked Miyuki into bed and kissed her on the forehead. Aww. <laughs> Aww. That is so sweet. Grandfather, she whispered, we forgot to do something very important. I know, Miyuki. I have not forgotten. I will tell you a story. Oh, <laughs> yay, story time. Grandfather opened a book and began to read. Oh, look at all that. The amazing wonders, the places our books take us to. Oh. <laughs> and he began. With the rain of gold on silver hills, the sun offers its last light before leaving for the night. The nightingale prepares her nest. Ants gather their provisions and the toad jumps into a bucket as the sun slowly hides to watch the moon rise. The bell tower sounds the hour of rest. Aww. <laughs> oh, a hive of activity. But where is Miyuki? Shh. I think Miyuki has fallen asleep. <laughs> the end. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for joining in story time. I hope you enjoyed that wonderful, wonderful story indeed. A sweet, sweet book. Yes, indeed. This one, Time for Bed, Miyuki, and written by Roxanne Marie Galit and illustrations by Sang Soon Ratanavan. Thank you so much for joining us for story time. I hope you enjoyed this lovely book. And if you have it, I hope that you were following along in your own copy. Yes, indeed. This one from Princeton Architectural Press, distributed here in the U.S. by Chronicle Books of San Francisco. A big, big thank you to them. Thank you so much for allowing us to share this wonderful book right here on Storytime. Thank you for joining in. I am glad you were here for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. And indeed, I hope it gives you another book in your collection for some nighttime reads. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Well then, I hope we didn't put you to sleep just yet, but I hope that this book helps for future naps. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Absolutely love the time that we spend together. But remember, this week I mentioned that we would be reading books that ask us some pretty profound questions. And we begin the, uh, that, that quest tomorrow with the three questions. Yes, this one is a good one indeed by John J. Muth. Please do join us for this one. It is a wonderful book indeed with a great lesson in there. The three questions. Please do join us for this one tomorrow coming to you from Scholastic Press. Thank you so much for being here for Storytime. I hope that you and your loved ones are having a wonderful time out there. And of course, we keep a thought to everybody that is not feeling well right now, thinking of you, sending you love, and indeed sending you prayers as well. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Please let us remember to play our little part in our communities that we can to help to make them better. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. And I think too, like Miyuki, let us remember to be thankful for these wonderful days that we're able to see 
and indeed as we go to bed for the wonderful wonderful evenings the meals that we have everything else that we are able to have that others may not have um quite um quite quite in abundance as we do so please please let us remember to be thankful and indeed be thankful for family as well thank you so much for joining in story time to all the grandparents out there we send you love we wish you well and indeed your wisdom is indeed powerful thank you so much for taking care of the next generation thank you for being here on story time to everybody that joined in today i hope you enjoyed our book today yes indeed time for bed miyuki yes 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 a beautiful one indeed coming to you from princeton architectural press distributed here in the u.s by chronicle books of san francisco a big thank you indeed to them please join me tomorrow don't forget the three questions will be answered join me for this one and enjoy it thank you for being here one more time congratulations to you sean harris on your award and of course all the other uh books uh, that were nominated and indeed those that got to walk away with the prize thank you so much for the wonderful wonderful books that you're putting out there the wonderful entertainment for our little ones entertainment and lessons wrapped up in wonderful galleries thank you so much for joining in story time absolutely appreciate it and every one of you out there big hugs to you and i will see you again tomorrow for another exciting story please do join me tomorrow and indeed if you have have recommendations please do not forget send them my way send them my way so we can try and get them here to story time auntie pam thank you for all the stories that you've recommended to us and trust me we will be getting to them making sure that we bring them here on story time and thank you for all the introductions as well thank you so much to everybody that joined in story time have a wonderful wonderful day today i will see you again tomorrow when we are back with another exciting story and this time we will be looking at the three questions join me for this one thank you so much for being here much love from me bye bye <laughs> read me all of your stories some with people that look like me others they different from the way that i look Hi everyone, I'm Amanda with Amanda Weltman Photography. I'm a photographer and printmaker based in the Pacific Northwest, and I believe that your face deserves wall space. Enjoy today's story time with my favorite storyteller, Mr. LaMotta. Look like me, others very different from the way that I look and think. Read me all of your stories. Read me all of your stories. Some stories from far away, others right here in my neighborhood. Story time. Story time. Story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh. It brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't live lonely, won't you start? All the reading we just can't wait to be in. Brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't live lonely, won't you start? All the reading, we just can't wait to leave.